Yo, what is going on fam? Welcome back to a double moto. Today we are checking out the Alpine Stars Riding It Faster 3. This is a riding shoe from Alpine Stars. They they call it a shoe, but I'm gonna tell you what. This is a shoe. This is not a shoe. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you that right now. I bought these recently because I really, I really love the look, man. They just look so fresh. You know, they're, they're the cleanest boot. I, I've always been a fan of the Fasters. At the time, I didn't see a need for the Faster 2 because I was full suiting everywhere. And just, just up until recently, I haven't been full suiting. And I encourage you guys to, to rock your gear all the time. Lately, I've been using my sneakers, which is incredibly unsafe. And I don't recommend that to anybody on any bike even if you're if you even if you're on a grom man i do not recommend it because you know it's very easy to to get your your feet or your toes crushed or, or your ankles twisted and, and you just it's just it's bad news if you just wear shoes and i I've, I've gone down on my shoes about like 10 12 years ago man and it, it sucks it freaking sucks so i was like yo i really like these last time i went to cycle gear my boy jason and i we were checking out the boots and the shoes and i was like yo I, I, i'm digging these I might come back for them. A couple weeks later, you know, every time I want to buy something, I give myself like two weeks to see if I'm still thinking about it. And if I'm still thinking about it, I'll go buy it. Fucking flies, bro. I'm just in my garage. Yeah, so I finally picked them up and I told the guy at the cycle gear, I was like, yo, I'm gonna try these out because they're a little tight. Maybe they'll break in. I'm gonna wear them around my house. If I don't like them, I can return them, right? He's like, yeah, just do that, man. That's a good idea. And then I wore these for like three hours straight around the house the first day. And I'm going to tell you what, these are not shoes. I don't know why they, they advertise them as shoes. They should just call these comfortable boots or like they should have like a comfort range. If I were to put like a comfort range on this, I'll probably like say out of five, right? Five will be like the Super Tech R, which is a full race boot, and then the SMX Plus, which will be like a track day street boot. You know, you got the SMX One R, which is more like a race boot, or not a race boot, like a street boot. But they call this a shoe, and I just don't, out of, out of the five, I would say this is like a four comfort level, right? So where five is like really uncomfortable, one would be like super comfortable. This is like a four, which is, I would, I've, I've owned the Supertech R's and that's like a five. Man, that boot is super stiff, but I mean, there's, there's a reason for that because it's the full race boot. And I would say this is like super, super stiff as well, just, just as stiff as as a super tight car, in my opinion, maybe I have sensitive feet, but you know, I have these SMX Plus and I I absolutely love these boots. I've had these for about, what, three years now. I, I went down on them once. Love how comfortable they are. The full boot in the streets. I, I took this out on the streets a few times in my full suit. And recently I took it out, you know, just wearing my pants. And I'll tell you what, these are way more comfortable than these. These are probably like, like closer to like the two in comfort where one is super comfortable this is like a two and this is like a four and maybe like i didn't wear this long enough i didn't like break it in or something but this sole it's just it's super stiff man this this bottom sole is super stiff whereas this is super stiff too but i don't know i think like this is just super comfortable i don't know if it's because i've had it three years but from the beginning when i first got this boot the smx plus it was just super, super comfortable. I just wore it all the time. And, you know, like I said, I've been wanting to wear a, or to buy a street riding shoe. And they market this as a shoe and it's not a shoe. It's very close to the SMX uh, 1R or, you know, the street boot that they advertise, which is a street boot has a puck, has a pucks on that. I've had that boot as well. <sighs> I'm gonna tell you, man, like this looks comfortable. It really does. Maybe if you got, maybe I just got wide feet. I, I just don't get it, man. I just don't understand. You know, the lacing system is is interesting. I would love to just have like a full on uh, Velcro system. It just, you know, when you tie it, like the laces kind of dangle out here. You know, it would have been it would have been nice if they had like a little pocket or something to stick the laces in that would close. If you ever ridden in shoes and gotten your your laces caught on the rear set, man, it's not. I've I've had that happen to me. I I broke the laces on my favorite pair of shoes and I almost went down on my R1. And it's not that I can't see that not happening, but I can see that I can see it happening. I don't know if that makes sense. You guys get my drift. Now I'm gonna talk about this compared to this again 
If I were to get one, one boot for the street and for the track, you want something comfortable, also protects you pretty well. You'll get more protection out of this, and I think the SMX Plus is actually uh, actually has way more protection than this, and it's way more comfortable, especially for street ride. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, man, I'm not exaggerating. This boot is not comfortable. This boot hurts my foot because it's so stiff, and the in the inside of this is very soft, and it's it's comfortable, man. This this I could rock all day long. This one maybe like 30 minutes to an hour, and my feet are in pain, dude. Like. I just don't see why anybody would spend, what, $180 for a shoe like this. It's uncomfortable, it doesn't have as much protection as this. Maybe for the style, I mean, if, if you're into J's, you know what I'm saying? If, if you're into like the Jordans and stuff like that, man, it, I could see you rocking this boot or this, this shoe. I'm gonna call it a boot because that's what it is. It's a boot, man. It's uncomfortable, dude. That's, it looks freaking great. It looks like it's comfortable. It's all soft up here, but yo, you're better off getting this. Even if you're not gonna track day, in my opinion, you might have that possibility of like, oh shoot, I might want to track day one day or hit the canyons or something. You're better off with the SMX Plus versus this. If you're gonna spend money on this, you might as well just cough up another hundred bucks and get this because this one is comfortable. Now I'm gonna talk about sizing. The sizing is weird on these ones, man. So these, this is a nine, and then there's no eight and a half, and it just goes down to eight. I'm a, I'm a nine in a shoe. I'm a nine in a sneaker. This is a nine. Fits pretty good. Fits pretty good. A little, a little narrow. I have a little bit of room in the toes. This one is a size eight US, 42, right? And then this one is a size 40, shoot, let me see. This one's a 42 uh, UK, EUK or whatever. And this one's EUR, uh, 42. This one feels bigger than this. I, I'll tell you that right now. And this says US 8, US 9. US 8, US 9. This feels a little bigger. This feels a little bit more snug. Yeah, Alpine says, get your size. <laughs> Bro, get your sizing correctly. I, I just, look, if you're in the market for a riding shoe, this is not, this is not it. This is not a riding shoe. If, if you have, if you're buying this, you're really just buying it for style or you've never rocked an SMX Plus. Go get an SMX Plus, go try it on and compare it to this, and you tell me which one you think is more comfortable. But again, I, I think I have, na like, not narrow, but I, have, I think I have wide feet, so I think that's why these work uh, better for me. I don't know, man, I don't know. They, these look a little bit wider than these. These are like super narrow, see that? Yeah, another thing, this one has a heel I really like. This one doesn't. So like this will get caught on the rear set. And I don't know, I just feel like this one would just slide over time. I'm not sure, how, how well does it wear? So this is about three years of wear right here. So yeah, another thing to note. But what I do like about it, super fresh, super dope. You know, I wish I could rock this on the streets because this looked extremely comfortable, but at the end of the day, for me, it's like when I'm out there riding, I just want to be comfy. You know, if I can be comfy and, and be protected even more than this, right? Even though you're looking fresh in this, dude, like you could look fresh in this too, I, I don't know. I, I kind of like the race boot, track boot on the streets. You know, just do yourselves a favor. I'm gonna return these. Don't mess with this, man. Yo, get an SMX Plus. Okay, stay away from the riding shoe, right? Just get this. This is comfortable. This is. <laughs> I thought I was gonna love these, man. I tried them on at the store, and I was like, okay, okay, okay. They're gonna break in. They're gonna break in. Two days of wearing them straight in my house, bro. They haven't broken in, and it just they just hurt my feet. And this one from day one was just comfy, like I said. So, yo, get the SMX Plus. Call it a freaking day, dudes. That's it.